What's up, guys? It's Wednesday. I'm doing the introduction from right here in the shop. Reason being is they changed my schedule. I usually used to come in at 9 o'clock in the morning, but now they want me to come in at 8. Reason being is because uh, the pool is open, so I got to read the pH levels. I got to open the pool at 8 o'clock. And um, that's it. But let's see what we got today. Right off the bat, we already got like three work orders. So let's go take a look at that. So I just been informed that we got a delivery last night and look at all this. All 50 inch TVs right behind me too. So you know what that means, right? I think we're gonna have to replace TVs today. All right guys, so before we open the pool, we gotta check the pH and all that, all right? So I already took a sample of the pool water. So this is the pool. Let me put some pool water in there. So first we're gonna check the pH. This is this red liquid here. And you're gonna put five drops in the big tube. Okay, then and the chlorine is the smaller tube. You get the yellow solution. You put five drops there. Okay. So now, get the little caps here. A little cap there. A little cap there. I like to give it a little shake. And we measure it. These are all the colors. You don't want it to be down here. You want it to be around right here. Same thing with the yellow. You want it to be around right here. Yeah, the chlorine is uh, it's not too bad. Chlorine is uh, actually no. I'm gonna say about 3.0, and the pH is about 7.8. So that's what we're gonna write here. So that's it. Then we have our line book right there and we'll just write everything there we got to do it four times a day so that's how it is when you open up the pool all right here we go on our first work order and as you can see this thing is bent down somebody tried to i guess hang on it i don't know but it just broke off this piece is broken this piece here is broken and over here too this piece broken. So let me go to the shop and get the drill and all that. And we'll get it fixing. Let's do this. I got the new pieces for the shower rod. So basically this goes in the pole. This piece goes in the pole. And this piece goes in the wall. Now this is the piece that broke. So once I take it out, I'll show you exactly how it broke. Okay guys, so I'm taking out the old one, the one that's broken. But um, if you have this in your hotel or your apartment, whatever, make sure, um, see these screws here? Do not take it out with the, with the drill because sometimes they're a pain in the butt to take out. Find me on the uh, hold on one second. Yes? Hey, can you do me a favor? You got a room 233 uh, that doesn't know how to turn on the shower. You said there's nothing there, but I'm pretty sure is there, they just probably don't know what they're doing. Can you go take a look at that, 233? All right, I'll be right there. Sorry for the interruption. So these screws here, you don't want to take it out with a, with a drill because you could strip them very easily. These things are, I don't know, so delicate and cheap. So just grab your screwdriver. All right, sometimes they could be hard, sometimes they could be hard. I mean, sometimes they could be hit hard, sometimes they could be easy. This one already was already loose, so we got lucky on that one. All right, and that's it. You take them out. Oh, hold on a sec. Oops. Gotta keep going, man. Hey, Fernando, uh, I'm actually done with 233, can you head up to 403, and just um, help them with the shower. 
Thank you. Good. Uh, nobody knows how to open the shower today. All right, let's try this again. Uh, so basically what's going on is that we got some, we got some people from overseas stayed here and their shower is different than, than ours. So they don't know how to turn it on because you guys over here, you got a pool and then set it to hot or cold or whatever you want to do. So I guess they don't have that system over there. All right. Anyway, Whew. running around like crazy. So like I was saying, these, the screws, these screws here, the ones that go in here, do not take it out with, um, with the drill because you could strip it. See, like somebody already tried it. It was getting stripped a little bit. Thank God it wasn't because these things are a pain in the butt to take out. All right. So I'm going to do the other side and then we'll remove the bar. And just like I was saying, this one here, she's stripped. So I can't take it out with the screwdriver or the drill. So we're just going to have to get it off the wall here as best as we can. There you go. Whew. All right. So now we're just gonna put new anchors and keep it moving. But I already took out the, the rod. So as you can see, this is the one that I took out of there. You see how it's broken? They try to hang on it. So instead of being in the wall like this, now it's like this and it just goes all over the place. And there's the other little piece that belonged in there, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and put the new one. I also removed the plate so I could bend it back into shape because it was all bent up. So we use this plate, and we'll line her up right there, grab our new one, line her up, and we just preset our screws. Now we could <coughs> drill them in there. Just drill it in. Don't go crazy, just nice and slow. There we go, nice and slow. You don't have to go crazy with the drill. Because remember, they're anchors, so you don't want to... Beautiful. Okay. And that looks like this. That's how it's supposed to look. All right. Then the new piece goes here with the bar. And that's it. So we're going to do that in the other side. Okay guys, so we got the one that I showed you. And then of course this side, I have, of course I had to put a new anchor cause I ripped it off the wall, but it's in there nice and secure. So now we're gonna grab our new pipes here. Now they belong right here, right in there. And with an Allen key, you just tie them up. And these things go right in like so. All right, and then the pull sticks out. It'll be nice and straight. Okay, guys, so I put the new bar. Well, I put the old bar, but the end pieces are different. So in order to screw them in, what I do is I pre-put the, the screws in there. So in the bottom one, you start always with the bottom one so it will be secure. So we'll screw that one in. Okay. And then I'm gonna show you a trick with the top one. And now with the top one, as you can see, my screwdriver will not fit to screw that one. So what you do is you get yourself a little stubby, little guy like this. And you do it with the stubby. All right, and as you can see, nice and straight. Nice and straight, and that's it. Now, sometimes it could be tricky because of the screws. Like I said, do not use a drill, especially for these screws here. These screws here, don't use a drill for that because you could strip them. But other than that, we're good. On to the next one. All right, guys, this was a, this was a quick hack. Uh, I couldn't show you because I needed both hands for it. But for this door that they were talking about, this piece here, um, so we see where the, the screw grabs, it broke off. So it was just the bottom one, so it was hanging. 
So a quick hack, so now you don't have nothing to hold back but wood back there. So I don't have no support. So what I did was I grabbed a whole bunch of washers, you know, stack them up. And at the end, put the one with the, the smaller hole of these and just even it out all the way back with the screw and this, even it out. And you should have like this many washers. So it could be flushed against here, as you can see. Look at the washers there and they're flushed. See that? Nice and flushed. And then um, you screw it in to the wall and it, now it has support, just like this. So this one has the piece, but this one, the piece from the back of the plate here broke off. So I just used a bunch of washers, as you can see, and made it flush against this. And then you have room to drill it in and the door closes perfectly. There you go. That's it. So that's a quick little hack. Instead of putting wood and cutting, measuring, just put the washers. See, a bunch of washers all the way against the wall. Make it flush with this. And then just put the screw. Make sure it's a long screw, of course, so it can go all the way through the wood. And that's it, make it flush. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys, so I'm over here fixing this chain from the flapper that came off, but, um. Just want to take this time out real quick because uh, somebody asked me, well, a few of you asked me a few uh, questions. Uh, what do you guys need to know for uh, for maintenance, so, like to get started? Do you need uh, licenses or what type of experience and stuff like that? So basically, um, here in the hotel maintenance industry, all you need to know is basic things like basic plumbing, basic electrician, uh, basic electrical, whatever, basic carpentry, you know, just basic stuff, just to defend yourself. You gotta know knowledge about, a little bit about everything. Now, when I first started, um, even the basic things were hard to me because I never did it before. But as you do it over and you repeat it over and over and over, um, it becomes easy. So now I'm in like in this, probably the second level so there's basic, there's medium, and then of course there's advanced. So I'm just stepping into the middle, the middle class there. So that's good, you know, because the more that you do it, everything that you do is a practice. So the more that you do it, it becomes easier, you know, because you already know what to take, what tools to take, what not to take, and this, that, and you stop panicking. Some people panic. That's number one, do not panic. Because once you panic, get it so that's about it um so to answer your question uh that's basically it just come in with knowledge of basic plumbing like basic plumbing means like that like if you if, to change out a flapper or to change to put in a toilet bowl you know what i mean what's what bolts to use to to install the tank or how to unclog a, a sink or how to unclog a bathtub that's basic plumbing stuff uh basic um, electrical things is like how to switch out an outlet maybe um turn on uh if if a, i don't know if a power if the power goes out what breaker to turn back on because nine times out of ten is the breaker that goes off you know little things like that um that's how you you, you start off with and little by little as you keep doing it like i said before repeating it repeating it repeating it You'll master it, man. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys, in this work order, we're gonna do caulking. The old one was coming out. As you can see, I already started to, to take it out, to strip it. We're gonna do caulking all around. If you wanna see a, a video, um, just go back a few videos back and I'll show you how to do the caulk the proper way, all right? So basically what you do, is always make sure to scrape out the old one. Don't ever put caulk on top of old caulk because that's just gonna create problems later, okay? So what you do is you just strip out, you know, take out the old caulk, as you can see, I already have it there in the bathtub. And then once you finish taking it out, I always use this, denatured alcohol, right? And then we'll clean out the edges real good. 
and clean it up real nice. And then uh, dry it as much as can. Take everything out, vacuum everything. As you can see, I have to my vacuum right there. Vacuum out everything nice so there won't be no debris. And then you get your beetle clock and you go, you go all around the bathtub and that's it. All right guys, as you can see, all done. Nice and clean. And we move on to the next one. All right guys, for this last work order of the day, uh, everything else was pretty easy. You know what I'm saying? Again, clock toilets, clock sinks. I always, and I don't want to bore you with none of that stuff. So. Last one, I just want to talk about this stopper here. We got these stoppers. I actually love these things uh, because they come with different O-rings. So this one is the thicker one and they're for the bathtub, you know? Instead of having the ones that, you know, you twist off and they rust off, these are nice little ones that you could, you know, with your toe or with your hand, whatever, you could, you know, you could use them and they work very good. So for this kind, uh, I'm gonna put the the big O-rings, you know what I mean? The big, the big size gaskets because the hole there is a pretty big one. So that's all you do is just pop it in and she won't come out like this. As you can see, go in, give it a nice little height right there. Boom, done. And then they just work it from here. That's it. She's open there, ready for business. And they're good because once they uh they break or whatever, just go and just replace it. They're cheap, they're good. But what we do here is perfect. All right, guys, it's gonna wrap up this video for today. Um, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, quick little facts here and there, little quick little tips um, for beginners, of course. Um, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and tell a friend to tell a friend about the Zuma blocks. All right? We out. See you mañana. Peace.